More than 30 Chicago area homes are listed under similar circumstances. An official with the Morse Temple denied they were involved. People are falsely using our name, Grand Sheik and moderator Robert Jones Bay said. We denounce that. It misrepresents our organization. In about half of the cases, the homes were deeded from Noble Drew Ali, the Morse prophet who died in 1929 and then deeded to the church. Under current laws, dead people cannot deed property. Well, I hope not. In most of the Chicago cases, the victims are banks that are foreclosing on properties. In addition to E-Trade Bank, lenders caught up in the scheme include Deutsche Bank, Fifth Third Bank, City Mortgage, and J.P. Morgan Chase. In one case, people purporting to be Temple members claimed ownership of a property belonging to an evangelical Christian church on the far south side. Normally, a warranty deed is used after a sale to transfer ownership of a property from one owner to another. In Miss Neely's case, Countrywide Bank, Miss Neely's lender, appears to be transferring the warranty deed to Mr. Drew Ali, the founder of the Moorish Science Temple, who died in 1929 and who preached that all African Americans were of Moorish descent and not true citizens of the United States. In Miss Neely's case, Countrywide Bank, Miss Neely's lender, appears to be transferring the warranty deed to Mr. Drew Ali, the founder of the Moorish Science Temple, who died in 1929 and who preached that all African Americans were of Moorish descent and not true citizens of the United States. In Miss Neely's case, Countrywide Bank, Miss Neely's lender, appears to be transferring the warranty deed to Mr. Drew Ali, the founder of the Moorish Science Temple, who died in 1929 and who preached that all African Americans were of Moorish descent and not true citizens of the United States. And let me say that there is an article also that I intended to share here about a story of a young woman who was arrested for something because, um, oh, she didn't keep her driver's license up to date and she didn't pay her tickets, and she was one of the people affiliated with one of these temples, and uh, she said that they do not believe that they're subject to the rules and laws of the United States of America because they were, um, because they're part of this organization, and that they fall under the rules and laws of that, and so they, uh, I guess they don't pay property taxes, and several other things as well. Anyway, the deed maneuver has happened in other cities, but officials said the number of cases in Chicago is staggering compared with the rest of the country, where the Moorish Temple of America's name also pops up. A, spokes, a spokesman for the Moorish Temple of America, which is based in Washington, denies his organization is involved in the ruse. R. Jones Bay, the Grand Sheik and moderator of the church, says that someone using the church's name, R. Jones Bay, the Grand Sheik and moderator of the church, says that someone using the church's name, R. Jones Bay, the Grand Sheik and moderator of the church, says that someone using the church's name, R. Jones Bay, the Grand Sheik and moderator of the church, says that someone using the church's name, R. Jones Bay, the Grand Sheik and moderator of the church, says that someone using the church's name. R. Jones Bay, the Grand Sheik and moderator of the church, says that someone using the church's name. R. Jones Bay, the Grand Sheik and moderator of the church, says that someone using the church's name.